Hey guys, it's Ben Lindsay. I just want to do a quick video. We're going into winter here, and there's an important button that are that is uh, on most cars that I wanted to show you what it did because a lot of salespeople they uh, kind of just quickly glance over it or they don't mention it all at delivery. So it's something important you should know about. Probably won't have to use it, but it's nice to know that you have it and and how it works. What it is is this traction control or stability control off button. And most modern cars within the past five to, to six or seven years have this, have these features. Uh, traction control. If the wheel starts spinning, if one of the wheels starts spinning, you know, when you turn onto a wet road or in the snow, the computer will tap the brake or it will stop the ignition just for a split second to keep that wheel uh, going at the same speed as all the others. Or you might have, uh, sometimes that button will also turn off, depending on the year and make and model, you want to check your owner's manual, but sometimes that button will also uh, shut off the stability management control, or ESC or VSM it's called, where the computer will break different wheels or give certain wheels more brake than the others. Uh, essentially, the computer is kind of controlling your steering and your braking, and it's kind of nannying whatever you do. And that's a good thing, and these are great features. Um, I've, I've said a lot of times the best thing since seat belts, but um, these are great safety features and they work, but sometimes in the winter, um, you might want to turn those off. And every time you turn the car on, they're on. Um, but for example, if you would get caught in uh, that berm at the end of your driveway where the snow plow pushes all the snow, or, or maybe in some deep snow, or like I have a, a steep driveway, Sometimes those systems will tap the brakes or keep braking and interfering with your braking so much that the car will stop and it won't be able to go anywhere. And um, like I say, they're good safety features, but in that instance, you might want to turn these off because eventually, like I say, it'll just keep tapping the brake or killing the ignition until the car just won't go anywhere. And at that point, you don't know what to do. Well, sometimes you're going to want to turn that off and like I say, every time you get in the car and turn it on, it's on. So if you turn it off, you have to turn it off each time. And if you push that button, you'll notice this little light up here in the dash. And that means that it's off. Well, the only situation that you'd want to use that for is if you were stuck in some snow or even off-road, but generally it's snow, and you didn't want the computer interfering with everything. You just want to be able to press the gas pedal and blast through that or rock the car back and forth and get it free. And in that case, you'd want to turn that button off. And like I say, uh, not only on the Kias, but on all makes and models, they pretty much all have it now. But um, sometimes you want to turn that off so that you have more control. And it's just for when you don't want the computer interfering with your wheels. Like I say, if you want to rock a car free or you're trying to get it stuck out of the snow or you just want to... You just want to blast through some snow without the computer and all these new programs um, interfering with it, which is not a bad thing. Most of the time, you're going to want to have that, but I just wanted to remind you that that's what that button's for, and it will um, it'll save you a lot of trouble. You don't want to turn it off while it's operating, but um, if you need to, it's there. You can turn it off, and you just go back to old school car where the computer's not interfering with anything, and it makes it a lot easier to get... Uh, to get unstuck or, or go through a, a deep pile of snow or something like that. And like I say, it's right there and you can turn it off and on. It goes off just as easily. But uh, anyways, good, good thing to know about your car. Just want to throw that out there. Have a great winter. Safe driving. And let me know if you need anything. It's 314-249-6307. And I'll talk to you later, guys. Thanks. Bye.